Lion King 2019. How I would describe this movie is, have you ever watched a movie on TV that you've seen hundreds of times before, and you, you know you know what's gonna you know what's supposed to be in there, but you then you notice there are scenes missing, you notice there are lines that have been changed by the censors, and then you notice a bunch of added stuff, aka the commercials. That's what this movie feels like. A lot of the classical lines from the movie have been changed or altered. Scenes are definitely missing. There were scenes added into it. And... It really sticks out if you know the original one. Or you've seen it a lot. Like, if the original one didn't exist, this would be a decent B-movie. It's like the, uh, the guy that was voice acting Scar... He, he definitely was not a tr classical Shakespearean trained actor like Jeremy Irons was because the lines that he actually kept, because they did alter a lot of Scar's lines, but the lines that he kept, it didn't, they don't feel right coming out of the guy's voice. He doesn't have the presence and the classical evilness of Jeremy Irons' voice and acting. The uh, singing... Someone needed to tell Beyonce that she was supposed to be singing a duet with Dan with the Donnie with Donnie Glover. Not Donnie Glover. I know his last name is Glover. Donnie is Donald. Yeah, it is Donald Glover. I was thinking uh, the guy from Lethal Weapon. Donald Glover. He was singing, but you could kind of barely hear him, and Beyonce was overpowering him in the "Can You Feel the Love the Night" song. They definitely got rid of stuff that I'm probably guessing PC culture people didn't like. It's like the, uh, at the end of I Can't Wait to Be King, Just Can't Wait to Be King, the rhino is supposed to sit on Zazu. And, you know, I beg your pardon, madam, but get off from there. And this one, he gets lost in bees or some kind of yellow, some kind of yellow birds. And I can see why they changed that song, like the dancing numbers, because animals aren't going to actually dance, it's just be real animals. So that one I can kind of see. Uh, they definitely changed how uh, Simba and Nala got reunited. Instead of Timon, uh, and instead of Puma getting stuck in a, under a log, because he's fat, now he can't climb because his hooves don't have, he have any claws, so he can't climb. And Nala just kind of gives up on him. In the original one, she gives him the night. It's like, okay, he go, he's going to sleep on it, and I'll, so you, and I'll leave in the morning. And this one, she leaves bright and early before he even hears anything from his dad. And Rafiki barely talks. In the original one, you can't shut him up. And this one, barely talks. He says a little bit of, you know... He lives in you, part, and I know who your father, your, no, he didn't say you're Mufasa's boy, he says, I carried Mufasa's son. He doesn't, in the, uh, even the scene where, like, Simba falls, and, like, he show, just flies on the ground, and then uh, dust gets picked up and carried, now it's, like, eaten by a giraffe, shit out, put, a dung beetle carries it, and then it blows out of the dung beetle's shit and then goes to uh, Rafiki and he gets it. And instead of like trying to figure out what it is and think for a couple seconds, it's, oh, he's alive. And it's not like, he doesn't even say he's alive. He just goes, oh, Simba. And he walks over and does a little fruit around the painting. And the painting isn't even the whole cat. It's just the face. And it's re done really weird. It's done with like bugs and dirt instead of him just doing it. Because if they have been to a zoo, monkeys can paint. So can elephants. Not very good, but hey, it's a kid's movie. It's a cartoon. What do they want? The animals, they they are... the Like, the kittens cute. And how it acts and everything. The kittens. Because, you know, kittens are cute. But some of them, it just doesn't really look right. It's like... You can definitely tell this was supposed to be done with uh, anamorphic animals, you know... Animals of human traits. You know, the, the, the expressions on the faces and everything. The hyenas were completely screwed up, just like Scar was. Uh, 
Shenzi kind of has ex some extra lines, but it's not very much. Ed and the uh, Ed and the other male. Ed talks now, but the other male also talks, and they're both equally dumbasses. But Shenzi's not a leader of the hyenas. Instead of it being like nobody's leading them, and they kind of just mosey around. If you had the option between this one and the cartoon, I would definitely say just watch the cartoon. It's the better version. It's like I said in my original t opening. It's like watching Die Hard on TV. Would you rather hear John McClane say yippee ki -yay, Martha Trucker? Or yippee ki -yay, Motherfucker? See him actually kill people and actually see what the movie's supposed to be and not just randomly the guy is just mad because the elevator opens and his brother is sitting there, but why is he mad? He, he didn't, John didn't kill him. You didn't see it. There's no blood. You didn't see it. It's like even the uh, in the jungle song, they even add the second verse about the village. Humans don't exist in the Lion King. So how is there a village? And Timon, instead of just being sarcastic, he's now a really mean, nasty guy. It's like he mocks Pumbaa for farting instead of just trying to be like, oh, casual coy. Oh, not in front of the kids. It's like, every time that I farted, you weren't gonna, you're not going to stop me? Why would I? You're disgusting. It's like even the light, like the cartoon. You know, there's not a single character you can hate. They're all likable characters, even the bad guys. And this one, there are a lot of characters to hate. And even the score, like I know Hans Zimmer kind of like rewrote it and tried to add a little more African to it, but he should have kept his original one, or at least remember, because even remember who you are part. Get screwed up in this re in this remake. Simba roars first, then remember who you are, or remember now, and then roar again with a louder one, and the females all roar. And the slow mo fight scene removed. It's one hit. Rafiki doing his uh tribute to Bruce Lee removed probably because of oh that's racist and that crap. We ever, if you ever come back, we'll kill you. Is removed because they just think Simba died falling down a gorge. Even if they, even though they took like an extra step or two and looked over, they would have saw where he landed and saw that he wasn't dead. They added in some extra animals so Timon and Pumbaa aren't living alone in that big jungle by themselves. Of course, in the cartoon, they probably weren't living alone by themselves either. But you know, you see a predator walking around, and all the animals aren't going to show up. As I said, if the cartoon didn't exist, this would be like a decent B-movie, you know. It's kind of watchable, but you don't really need to watch it. But with the cartoon existing, there's no reason to watch this one. Like, even when it's released on DVD, just watch the cartoon. They're released at the same time. It's like if you look at how Aladdin's being released again, they're releasing the cartoon at the same time they're releasing the live-action one. Again, on DVD, they're releasing on the 4K version. So, And Lion King's already been released on Blu-ray and 4K and DVD. So there's no excuse for you to have this one in your collection and not have the cartoon in your collection. Unless you don't like cartoons and you want to watch the live-action one, but, eh. Even the fight scene at the end, Simba gets like his ass kicked instead of just actually fighting and being equals with Scar and the hyenas. It's like instantly all the lioness have to come to his rescue. I mean, in the cartoon, they were all equals. In this one, the Linuses were definitely better. And even the reveal of how Scar killed Mufasa is changed. The all big dramatic murderer! No, Simba, please, you don't understand. Tell them the truth. That completely removed. It's just, oh, Nala figures 
Nala figures it out. Oh, wait, wait a minute. If you saw him die, before, if you saw a, if you saw the fear in his eyes, that means you were there. You said you didn't get there beforehand. So it says some big dramatic reveal about Simba showing his dominance over the bad guy. It's, oh, wait a minute, from the girls. So, did you see it? Did you not see it? What did you think of it? And, uh, yeah, Seth Rogen definitely should not be a voice actor. His voice is really bad for it. It's, it'd be like me doing being a voice actor. Not a good combination. So, as always, like, dislike, comment, don't comment, subscribe, unsubscribe. Hey, YouTube's still free community at the moment. And always, as always, have a good one.